I've always loved music since I was a kid. My aunt bought me a keyboard and I would sit in the living room and just try to play what I heard on this little keyboard. Fast forward, I started going to a church called Door of Hope and for some odd reason I had this sensation, this pull to go and sing on the worship team. And pretty soon I started singing once a month on Sunday and one of the guys that I was leading worship with asked if I would be interested in singing a song leading the congregation. And I was like, oh, sure. There is one song that I really love, but I'm terrified. And so I sang this song called Enfold Me and I was so scared, but everyone disappeared out of the room and I was just singing to Jesus. And my friend walks on stage and she's like, what was that? And I'm like, I don't know what that was. And then that just led to me singing more. People would start asking me to sing on their album or sing at their album release show, background vocals. Um, my friend Eric Early, he's the lead singer of Blitz and Trapper. I sang on the Wounded Healer album, which was the first time I'd ever sang on an album through church. And then he asked me to sing a, on one of his songs called Shine On. And he invited me to sing with his band at the Doug Fir and I was just terrified and I'm just like singing these songs and then that led to me singing with the Wyland Creative Group. And then that led to someone asking if we would sing on Livewire and that was even before my album came out. My album came out January 2014 at Mississippi Studios and it sold out in like 10 days, which was insane. I was like, I, how do you guys know about me? Pure Religion was done by a man named Josh White, but he's black. You're gonna need that pure religion, hallelujah. And then There's a Light was uh, first performed by a woman named Shirley Ann Lee. There's a light in my life shining over me. Entrance, as soon as I heard the ooze the first time they come in, I cried. It was so weird hearing myself and just like, wow, I sound like my mom. And I was like, can you cry to your own voice? The rest of the songs were written by Josh. And Closed By You was one of his songs from his band Telecast that I loved. And he said that I could have it. I would never leave you. And Closed By You is that song that always reminds me of the honesty and the vulnerability I have in my faith. And I'm not ashamed of it. I mean, like, my questions aren't too big for God, and my fears actually build courage in me because I face them. I've always had that idea of passion over fear. Even though you sing it in front of tons of people, it's also a very private song that I sing to myself where I go into my inner, the inner room and close the door. I'm not passionate about being like this celebrity and this star, like ta-da, look at me, how cool I am. But I do love people. So when I see people having fun, it allows me to say, okay, well, nerves, get in the back seat because we're already doing this, we're already here. My desire from people who come to our shows is that when they come, they know that they can let whatever happened in that day not past the doors. For that one hour we have each other, I get to sing hope and remembrance of being inspired and pull out light from each other. I want to engage with them. I like when they snap with me. I love when they sing with me. I love when they dance. I want to bring people together. It's an honor to be able to do the Great Northwest Tour. Life, so cool.